Well, hi, Mount fans, and welcome in to our debut video stream of the season here on MountAthletics.com. Roy Sigler, Steve Stoutberg. Oh, my gosh, you're seeing us for the first time. I hope you'll see us again next time for our next home game. But, Roy, we're here at Knott Arena playing basketball in Emmitsburg. Yeah, this is my 23rd year, and, uh, you know, every team is different. Uh, good win they had against Hartford after getting, getting knocked around by Marquette, which is a very good team, ranked in the top 20. In yeah, you're right. Now, fans, hey, they were shorthanded, and you're opening up against a Big East squad. That's a tough bill right there. But then you come back and beat Hartford by 13. Look, that's the, that's the reality. You come back and get a win after you got knocked around to open up the season. Yeah, one of the keys to this team is uh, their front court. Last year, they didn't score very many points, and uh, it's nice to see Danny Thompson get 17 points and 12 rebounds, and Barber also has the uh, capability of doing that same thing. Yeah, Danny Thompson, 17 points, 12 rebounds in that game, and Josh Castellanos with 16 points and 9 assists. That's big. Now, Roy, those guys have to continue to be big, and the freshmen have to continue to play with the team being shorthanded right now. We're seeing Chad Holly work at the point guard position. We're seeing Kelvin Parker, a walk-on, come in and play, a kid out of Pennsylvania. And how about Xavier Owens, too, from down south? A lot of freshmen early on. Yeah, well, Parker is highly recruited for football uh, for big-time schools and decided he wanted to play basketball, but he's one of those guys at 6'3", is he a guard or is he a forward? And of course the key thing is, really the key thing with this team is to get Lamar Trice back playing. Uh, most improved player in the league last year, got to have a good point guard, he's experienced, he's going to be the guy that's going to lead this team. Well, we'll see what they can do without him tonight. Sienna defeated Mount St. Mary's 65-53 in the Mount's home opener on Saturday night. In front of a crowd of 1,937 Mount fans, the Mountaineers jumped out to a 6-0 lead thanks to a pair of three-pointers by sophomore Julian Norfleet. Sienna answered with a 25-3 run over the next 14 minutes to take a 25-9 advantage, and the Mount could get no closer than 9 points the rest of the way. Norfleet paced them out with 16 points and a career-high 7 rebounds. Fellow sophomore Josh Castellanos added 15 points, while junior Raven Barber chipped in 10 points. Senior Danny Thompson was a force inside with 11 rebounds and a career-high 6 blocks, along with 6 points in the contest. Coach Pullman, let's go. Let's talk about this game afterwards. Coach Burke, good to see you first off. Good to see you. Boy, that first half. Couldn't hit those shots, but that second half, how competitive those guys played throughout the last 20 minutes. Yeah, we did an okay job competing in the second half. Uh, you know, in the first half, we let the fact that we weren't making shots get to us, and you can't do that. There's going to be times where you go through stretches where you don't make shots, and you still have to execute in every other area. A lot of participation needed from the freshmen. As a group, what is the first emphasis you, you offer to those guys who are playing their first minutes in college basketball? Uh, to do the things that they've done their whole life, all those guys have won. And so to go out there and make winning plays um, and play as hard as you can. Last thing I'm going to ask you, our next video stream will be a conference game. Just wondering how things look in Northeast Conference play this year. Oh, uh, the conference is great. I think we're ranked seven, 15th, 17th in the country, as high as we've ever been. Uh, just like we finished last year, it's very competitive. So uh, it's going to be a, a battle this year. Our first words from Coach Burke, and we thank you for coming on. Thank you. Appreciate right. it. There you go, Robert Burke.